Hey loves, it's Nika Carly, soul medicine woman, sacred sensuality guide, and spiritual leadership mentor. And you can find me at lovewarriortribe.com and nikacarly.com. So today I want to talk to you, this is kind of my lack to lux series here, and lack being that ever pervasive mindset and energy that keeps you from actually getting what you want to be in your life. It keeps you from doing the things that really speak to you, from having the relationships, having the body, that bang and smoke and hot body, the success, the wealth that you really, 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 really desire at that soul level. And Lux being whatever it is to you, right? Like you define it, what your desires are, your vision, the mission that you have in this world, that's Lux, that luxurious feeling, that delicious feeling of being completely turned on by every area of your life, that's what I want to help you move from, like from the lack to the lux, okay? So this is our hashtag lack to lux, okay? It's a little series here. So today I want to talk to you about ancestral baggage because here's the thing. If you are holding on to this really deep-seated um, the, these, it's, it's not even innately born, it's just kind of the, the, this, this junk that's been passed down from generation to generation and you're claiming it, you're owning it as your current story, you are allowing it to be com completely infused into your reality and it's become your reality, right? So I want you to start to look at the habits that you have, the belief systems that you have. If, you, if you're talking crap about yourself, if you are talking crap about your desires, your money, you're like, oh yeah, I, I kind of want this, but I don't really want this. I want to know what that is for you and what you're prepared to do about it. Because if you're living in a place, if you are committed to living your parents' life over and over and over again, if you are committed to living your sisters or your brothers or your grandparents or your great-grandparents' life over and over and over again, that lack, right? That, that inability to reach up to your soul's potential, your highest potential, to really step into the person that you were born to become, to reach out and like, take a hold of the purpose that God placed inside of you, the dreams, the vision, the desires, all of that, it's inside of you for a reason. So are you willing to let go of that stuff that your family says is important, the way that you have to eat, the way that you have to look, the way that you have to move, the kind of work that you have to do, the friendships that you have to have, the kind of marriage or not get married or the kids or whatever it is, the way that you're living, Okay? If you haven't actually created your reality with intention, with love, with joy, with commitment, with desire, then you're living someone else's life. You are allowing your dreams to be overpowered by someone else's dreams, by someone else's belief about who you should be. And this might be the spoken stuff that gets passed down. You know, you gotta work hard, you gotta do it, you gotta be responsible no matter what uh, you want. You just have to do it anyways. Uh, marriage, and it's not about love. It's just about you know security or it's just about not being alone or whatever crap you've been told right but sometimes you haven't even heard it you just witnessed it and it really is that stuff that comes in your formative years and you might have seen these kind of things right um, where there was this glass ceiling on success or this glass ceiling on the amount of wealth that you could have as a like whatever it is and you want to stay a part of your family you want to really honor you know like especially if you love them then you want to honor them and you honor them unfortunately by subconsciously carrying on their patterns now let's say you maybe don't enjoy your family right or they've got some traits that you really don't vibe with, you try to run as far away from those things as you can, and then what happens is that you, subconsciously, because you're so focused on not being like them, you just call it into your life. And you might notice, like you you said when you were a kid, that you were never gonna follow the path of addiction that one of your parents had. And then before you know it, you become addicted, perhaps not to the same substance that they were, maybe they were addicted to alcohol or to drugs, and then you become addicted to cigarettes or to food or um, like the really inappropriate behavior or attention, right? Attention seeking, right? So start to look at your patterns and the habits and the thoughts and the belief systems that you've allowed to uh, become your life, right? Because everything, every moment, every breath that we take is our life. Everything 
Your life is this moment. It's what you choose to do and to believe who you choose to be here now. That is your life. It's not something that's far off from now. It's not 60 years from now. This is your life right here and now. So I want you to start to look at where you're actually living your own life and where you're just repeating the patterns and the, the beliefs and the habits that have been passed down from generation to generation. Okay, because so that's how we start to release those limiting beliefs and the inhibitions and the doubts and the fears and start to actually live on purpose and with intent and live our lives and our desires and our dreams and start to really fulfill our purpose. So if you want to learn more and you want to go even deeper with me, then I invite you to check out my Lactalux workshop. It's happening next week live. You'll be able to get it after it's live, but if you wait, then the investment will be higher. Okay. So if you want, and you won't be able to go through it with me live and receive coaching from me and you won't have the opportunity to win some really cool fabulous prizes. So head over to nikacarly.com forward slash Lux, N-I-K-K-A. K-A-R-L-I dot com forward slash L-U-X-E and check it out. Sign up today. If you have any questions, shoot me a message on Facebook and I would love to, you know, chit chat and connect and vibe out with you. And I hope that you join me on the workshop because it's going to be super balls, and I'm going to blow your mind and you're going to really start to go a little bit deeper or maybe a lot deeper into some areas that you haven't really thought about before as to how you're shaping your current life. Okay. So have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I absolutely love and adore you madly and deeply. And as always, here's to your untaming. Bye loves.